Three. Mm, it's already on. Oh, okay. Hey guys, I'm Rob Shukraft with Three Storm Fitness. Um, I just picked up a new toy uh, about five days ago. It is a Polar H7 Bluetooth heart rate monitor. Uh, here it is right here. This is the full kit. You just have a little strap that wraps around your body. So you drop on the floor, it's just fine. Um, really not much to it. This is the main piece behind everything. It's uh, like I said, it's Bluetooth, so it has a range of about, about 30 feet, give or take. I use it with my phone, uh, specifically with an app that I've been using since I've had it for about five days, like I said, called Elite HRV. While this does heart rate, <clears throat> it is a uh, very, very accurate heart rate monitor uh, from, from what, I've, what I've read. Accurate enough to do heart rate var variability measurements. And heart rate variability is something I'm, I'm interested um, in measuring uh, on myself uh, to find out just kind of the general readiness, the condition of my, of my central nervous system, whether I'm more sympathetic, uh, which would be like more fight or flight, or, hang on buddy, or parasympathetic, which is more like rest and digest. So the more parasympathetic you are, generally speaking, the higher your HRV and the more ready you are that day for uh, tougher workout. So I've been testing myself the last four mornings. Um, really easy to do. I'll show you, give you a quick rundown. First you get this uh, kind of wet on the back. I don't really have to get it wet when I've worn up working out because I sweat profusely. But if you get it kind of wet, you can spit on it or I won't do that right now. My wife's filming. She disapproves of Filthy behavior like that, but just get a little water on the back, just a little bit, nothing, nothing much. Strap this sucker on, it just pops in these holes. Nice form factor fit. And you put it around like a like a belt. There's probably a better way to put this on. I'm like a child, I put everything on like, like a four-year-old, like my son. He showed me how to put shirts on and stuff. But I don't want to put it around my waist. Just folds right here. Clips on right there, and then just right under the nipple line. It's a fun word to say. And there it is, right above your, uh, right on your sternum, right above your heart. Then you get your phone going. So it's just like connecting with the Bluetooth device. It's just like, just like if you could hook up a pair of speakers, you could hook this thing up to your iPhone. This is an iPhone Seven. Works just the same with an Android or a Windows phone, any Bluetooth compatible phone. Um, go to Bluetooth, there it is right there. Polar H7D such and such model number. It connects. Now I'm going to shoot over to my Elite HRV app. Totally free app. That's one reason I'm interested in it because it's free. This, uh, yeah, I should mention, this is I think uh, 48 bucks on Amazon. The uh, the, the heart rate monitor. I just wanted to take my shirt off. Um, so the Elite HRV is totally free, and I think it's like it seems like a really high quality app. I think the reason it's free is because they collect a lot of data on you, and they, you can get all sorts of information on on here, which is very helpful for monitoring um, monitoring yourself. And I'll show you in a second what I mean. But they can do a lot with the data in terms of uh, monitoring a wide population. I think like a million users that they have. Uh, that data um, reflecting things like what your mood is, what your exercise levels are, what kind of sleep you're getting, um, all sorts of vital demographics or demographics on vitals, or whatever you say it. Um, so anyways, what you do real basically, as you can see, these are my, uh, my, my readiness scores from, from the last four days, five days of measuring. Uh, today, I woke up, I was kind of excited to see that I had a 69 <laughs> uh, HRV score. Now, the reason I was excited was because it was significantly lower than the previous days. And the reason it was lower, which means again that I'm my central nervous system's a little beat up. I'm more in a sympathetic state. Even though I got a pretty good night's sleep, I think I got like eight hours of sleep, um, I was still not very uh, recovered on my, on my CNS. And the reason is, I think, because I did really heavy deadlift session yesterday along with uh, several complex sets of uh, Dan John's Mass Made Simple Barbell Complex. It was a super hard workout. As you pro probably know, um, if you're into deadlifts, deadlifts, 
you might not necessarily be sore muscularly, um, but your CNS just gets hammered. It's very taxing on you, so that's why I typically don't want to deadlift more than once or twice a week in heavy sets. Anyways, so it was really cool to come on and find out that this was showing um, a lower score. It says, basically it says, your sympathetic activity appears to be abnormally elevated. Consider active recovery and or guided breathing to enhance recovery. Guided breathing, I can't wait to play with that. Um, so anyways, to, to set it up, it's super easy. You just hit this plus sign here and you can do a, your morning readiness. It'll remind you on your iPhone and types has the push notification. It'll remind you to, uh, to, to take your readiness report. Uh, I'm just going to do, I've just been doing open readings. Like after I, I want to measure like during a workout or, um, after like a breathing exercises, I just do open reading and it's just kind of a one-off ad hoc measurement. And then it detects the, the Polar H7. It's got it. By the way, the battery on this is awesome. I've used it for at least an, an hour or so, uh, and it's still at 100%. It's replaceable batteries. It takes the same kind of batteries I use for my dog's shock collar, um, and uh, which I don't know what the kind of that is, but just Google it. My heart rate's up kind of kind of up high right now. It's about 20 points higher than it normally is. I think because you guys kind of freak me out a little bit. <laughs> but um, I hit start. And it takes measures my variability. You can see this little countdown right here. Uh, it tells you how much longer you need. So 51 seconds until it get a good heart rate uh, reading. This is just a one minute session. In the morning, it's a little, it's a little more, uh, guys, it's a little more data. So it's two and a half minute um, morning readiness report. So I just kind of lay there in bed with this on. Um, my heart rate in the morning is like, like low 40s, but right now I must be pretty amped or something because yeah it's it's in the low 70s but like I said I'm more after variability it's kind of coming in low I'm not going to sit here and wait for uh for a minute even though I will probably continue to talk for a minute <laughs> yeah I'll just let it go if it, if it finishes it finishes uh and then it tells you when it's done and then you have that data yeah we'll let it finish it's just 10 more seconds I want to show you something um honey what do you think so far so far so good is that cool super cool cool I want to try. Yeah, you can try. Wait, do you have a nipple line? <laughs> I do. Oh, okay, you can do it. <laughs> All right. So then you hit finish when it says it's done. Uh, so it collects a few few things like like a smiley face. Um, this is high science here. Uh, basically for your mood. I'm in a pretty good mood right now. I'm going to hit... I'm not like that good of a mood. I don't know if that's coming in well. But I'm, I'm positively mellow. All right. So reading position. So you could sitting, standing, lying down, squatting, or on the go. We are standing. All right, done. And notes, I could say like talking to YouTube folks. Nervous. I didn't think I was, but my heart rate's telling me otherwise. And then you could add some tags for easy searching. I got like bench press, night tired, blah, blah, blah. I got to kind of work on that. But um, I wasn't sleeping, but if I had been, I could say, you know, coming off of a good of a sleep, bad quality, neutral quality, high quality, choose the duration, um, or exercise. If I just had just worked out, um, I could choose like the, the RPE, which is the perceived intensity, how hard the workout was, how long I worked out. And all this stuff over time is going to help not only uh, HR, Elite HRV with their massive data, uh, which they use for studies and a lot of beneficial things for um, uh, cardiac, cardiology and, 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 and neurology science and stuff that I don't understand. Um, and then we'll hit save. But it also helps me out um, because I can look at my, my trending over time. Gives you all this information here. See, my, my heart rate was average of 69 during that reading. 64 HRV, which is about 10 points lower than my average so far. And then it just compares it to all sorts of different um, information you have. It's really cool. I, I'm really excited to just look at this over the next few months to continue taking readings. Um, the only thing I will say that I don't love so far is the... Just, and this, is, this is me being critical, but the strap itself is kind of a... I don't know if it's just because maybe I got a band that's too small, but I was doing um, Funk Roberts 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 workout the other day, which requires you to do a lot of burpees and jump squats. And um, 
this thing just snapped off of me and uh, I thought I put it on a wide enough setting but that's going to take you know if I really want to get I'm sure it had no problem like on the on the treadmill or um, something a little more of a of a static static sagittal plane type workout where I'm not flailing and everything but if you're I'm going to have to kind of figure out a way to get this staying on me when I'm uh, be, doing being a little more dynamic so as always I went a little bit longer than I wanted to but I covered a lot of information as you can tell, I am very excited about, uh, again, very excited about um, my new toy, my new, my new app. Totally free. I encourage anybody else out who has 50 bucks to get there, to get one of these H7 devices or another one that's, that can do um, uh, HRV readings. Get yourself a free app. There's a lot of other good ones out there too, but Elite, Air, Elite HRV was highly recommended. And um, just be, it allows you to be more intelligent, you know, with, 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 with your training. Um, Rather than just saying, I got a hard day scheduled here, no pay, no game, bro, I gotta go get it no matter what. And that's not always the best way to train. It's a good attitude, but it's um, in competition, that sort of thing. But I like to take a little more intelligent approach and try to, you know, if my body's, if my HRV readings are telling me that maybe it's not a no pain, no gain type type day, then I'll, I'll, I'll cool off a little bit. Maybe I'll drop a few pounds off the bar or take a yoga class or something and hit it again, hit it harder the, the next day when my, when, my, when my readings are up a little bit. So thank you very much for tuning in. Again, I'm Rob Shukrab with Three Storm Fitness. Thank you for my lovely wife for filming, talking about nipple lines with me. And thank you guys for tuning in. Have a great day.